The fact is, underwear is sexual in nature. <laughs> For many, it's unwanted. Period. So be decent. <laughs> You let me have your Dragon Ball, and I'll let you have a little pee. What do I care about seeing your dirty old fanny? Hello, friends, and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact, and it's totally, uh, science. So go ahead and look it up if you want. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> Today we're jumping into r slash nice guys, my god. These guys are so nice. That's usually what I say, but this time it's just one guy who's being very, very nice with this gigantic manifesto that he's written about how much he hates yoga pants and how women are disrespecting themselves by wearing yoga pants. And don't worry, guy, he's gonna tell you how to dress so you can uh, look like a proper lady. And it's just... Oh god, it's so cringe. The fact that somebody thought all this up, wrote it all up, and then printed it out to distribute it. Oh god, this is some next level cringe we've got today. So, I'm hoping that it's gonna get me good and mad. We're on day four of not smoking, and I am... I think I'm over the hump. I am freaking out, like, just a little bit, but I think it's going to be okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to make it. If I could get to one week, then I'll feel really good about that. So, three more days to go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, cheering me on and whatnot. It's not an easy thing, but, uh, yeah, I'm nothing if not stubborn, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead, we'll get some plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive into some of this r slash nice guys a cringe. Women, are you in favor of consent, regardless of gender? <laughs> Is respect a two-way street? <laughs> Uh, good opening line. You, you've you now hooked everybody in. They're like, yes, these are a couple of viewpoints that I can agree with. But then he's going to take these two viewpoints and just completely throw them out the window. <laughs> I also wanted to mention that I am streaming this live on Twitch. Have you come through? Have you watched the Twitch live stream? Or, or you know, the, the VOD after the live stream happens. You, you could do that too. The link's down in the description. I do appreciate that. <laughs> I'm just uh, stalling a little bit more before we get into this pose because I know it's going to be really long and really heavy and yeah, I don't know if I'm 100% ready, but it's going to be fine. It's probably going to be fine, right? Totally fine. <laughs> and then join the men around you in calling out the glaring hypocrisy of members of your own sex. <laughs> Bending over to write messages about consent on the sidewalk while wearing crotch-hugging underwear in public. <laughs> oh my! Goodness gracious! Get ready to clutch your pearls, ladies and gentlemen! Yeah, you can't talk about consent while wearing those types of clothes that you have obviously consented to wearing. See, this is like <laughs> some guy imposing his own degenerate fantasy. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're wearing that type of clothes and it makes me want to rape you. So what are you doing talking about consent? Like, do you not understand the disconnect here? <laughs> you fucking Luddite, you caveman. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is, oh, this is so next level, dude. <laughs> that is clearly not aligned with the concept of consent. According to who? <laughs> what you're wearing has nothing to do with the concept of consent, as you put it. 
Y yet many of you did just that and regularly wear underwear like volleyball shorts and yoga pants and, and sports bras, etc. And other revealing clothing in the gym and out in town and the barracks to make a display of your private parts to men who literally didn't ask for it. <laughs> Don't be that girl. Oh, he's coming at it from like a completely different sort of way. He's like, I didn't consent to see your lovely body. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess this is a, a take that you could have. I don't know how much it's actually gonna hold water. I also don't know how much I actually believe that you have that take. But okay, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and be like, Oh yes, these women in volleyball shorts and yoga pants have obviously offended you very deeply. <laughs> but honestly, you can wear uh, yoga pants as well if you were so inclined. And it doesn't require consent from anybody else in order to wear those yoga pants. <laughs> like, where are you going? The logic doesn't quite hold up, even if I did believe that this is actually what you believe. Don't be that girl. Give me a fucking break, bro. <laughs> Uh, why isn't every woman on the planet that girl? Come on! <laughs> Let's all get some volleyball shorts. I'm about it. <laughs> uh, it's not weird. It's a little weird, but you, you're making it more weird than it is. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that behavior makes it clear that you don't actually care about consent for anyone other than yourself. Since you can't possibly obtain consent from everyone you expose yourself to in your underwear. <laughs> uh, I love this fucking dude, man. He's like, yeah, it requires consent to wear shorts that short. Here it comes, fucking dress code police over here. I bet he watches, like, uh, music videos or whatever with chicks shaking their ass, and he's just like, oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> we need to get this off the TV, for I have not consented. Well, why don't you turn off the TV? Why don't you look the other way? <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot more people enjoying the show than there are people that are clutching their pearls and going, Oh my, you, you, you can't consent! <laughs> uh, absolutely ridiculous, bro. But I'm loving it. I will follow your flawed line of logic all the way down. So sure, let's keep going. <laughs> This message calls out the individual females, females, <laughs> who are without doubt guilty of violating consent and borderline to actual sexual harassment, depending on the underwear. I mean, are they walking around wearing crotchless panties? Is that your problem? I mean, I might actually dig something like that, but I understand you're somehow even more conservative than I am. Okay. <laughs> how are you how are you literally this offended by women wearing short shorts? They're not actually walking around in their underwear. Even if they were, it's essentially like a bikini. Are you are you gonna go run around the beach trying to wrap women up in towels, be like, no, no, this isn't appropriate. You need to go home right now. You can't walk around in your underwear. <laughs> respect is a two-way street. That's why I don't respect your autonomy at all. <laughs> Do you see why this line of logic doesn't work? Do you see? He doesn't see. He can't see the fucking nose on his own face. <laughs> How close do you want to come to that line? And why? <laughs> uh, the sexual harassment line? I don't think so, dude. 
that is a stretch beyond a stretch. If if she pulled her tits or vagina out, you know, then I'd be like, okay. If you didn't ask to see that, I get it. But essentially, people can pick to wear what they want to wear. Respect that other person's decision to dress in the way that they feel most comfortable, right? God, this is a reach. <laughs> uh, don't break your back with all that reaching. There are plenty of legitimate complaints that we could level at the opposite gender. It's not a one-sided story. Oh, see, now we're getting a little bit deeper. This guy has been accused of sexual harassment, so now he wants to bring it all back around on women around him. Maybe he was walking around, like, legitimately in his jockey shorts or something with his with this thing flopping around, his pork sword hanging out. And women were like, no, that's inappropriate. So now he's like, but you wear short shorts. It's not fair. Yeah, but women also don't have a, a, a dingle dangle to dangle in the dirt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is slightly different. I can only theorize about the reason for this manifesto, but I, I do think that we are uncovering it piece by piece. So let's look a little further. Uh, these complaints look different, given our biological differences. My point. But they all stem from the same root cause. Lack of reverence for the opposite sex. And putting one's own sexual gratifications above others, regardless of your gender. Again, I'm pretty sure that's a, a reach, friend. <laughs> <laughs> do I wear this? Do I do I put these clothes on and go, I have no reverence for the opposite sex and I'm going to show them by wearing this? Or do you put these clothes on and go, gee, this is comfortable. It makes me look nice. <laughs> you think it's about sexual gratification? <laughs> it's really not, okay? You, you've definitely misconstrued the entire meaning of, of clothing and what it means to wear something that you like. He's like taking it personally. So self-centric is this worldview. I can't believe that somebody else would wear something that I don't like. Well, you're just putting your own sexual gratification above others. Like, no. I didn't, I didn't consider you at all when I was getting dressed this morning, okay? <laughs> Fucking get over yourself. Oh, when you strip down to your underwear and stand in front of others in public, you prioritize your sexual gratification above anyone's desire to be free from a sexualized environment on base or desire to simply not see people in their underwear. Oh. Yeah, I guess clutch clutch your pearls a little bit harder. <laughs> While I can understand the point that you're trying to make, um, you're never free from a sexualized environment. You're existing around people of the opposite gender or the same gender if you're homosexual, I guess, or bisexual. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> you're in a sexualized environment every second of every day it doesn't matter what the other person is wearing okay they can be dressed up in a moo, moo and you might still feel some spark of attraction even despite that so i don't understand this argument that's like yeah i just don't want to see any underwear they're not wearing their underwear okay <laughs> quite literally you called it for what it is, volleyball shorts, yoga pants, sports bras, okay, maybe borderline a little bit. But overall, I think you're making this like a way bigger deal than it should be. I think my theory holds up that he was told not to wear shorts that short and now he just wants to come after women because they're able to wear shorts that short or something like that. There's something else going on here. I'd like to sit this guy down and, and have a, a talk with him, pick his brain just a little bit, but I'm also scared that it would make me an idiot or more of an idiot. The last two of my brain cells would die during the conversation. So <laughs> maybe we could just glean it from the manifesto. Uh, fingers crossed. You're partially exposing yourself to whoever you want. <laughs> 
regardless of what they want. And that's antithetical to the concept of consent. It shows a complete lack of respect for others, especially men, but other women as well. Especially men. <laughs> uh, are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> Tell me that you're kidding me. <laughs> Uh, Jesus Christ. It's like she's picking and choosing what other people can see her in her underwear. No, <laughs> she went out dressed like this, knowing that everybody else could see were they so inclined to look. And you're so offended by the fact that you're inclined to look. That's what this really boils down to. You can't help yourself, can you, OP? <laughs> you're just a caveman, a Luddite, like I said at the beginning, and you're like, oh, girl have round thing, me want touch. <laughs> Keep your hands to yourself, you fucking weirdo, you nobody. Hunched over his computer and just seething that he has to look at other women in their underwear. Oh, how terrible for you. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Complete lack of respect. That's what we're going with. Sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody's buying it, man. Especially not me. The fact is, underwear is sexual in nature. For many, it's unwanted. Period. So be decent. <laughs> You let me have your Dragon Ball, and I'll let you have a little peek. What do I care about seeing your dirty old fanny? Uh, decent, yes. The enforcer of public decency is here. And if you're not decent, he's gonna come and get you. He's gonna <laughs> fucking staple this manifesto to your door. So please, be decent. Who's the arbiter of decent? <laughs> I'm pretty sure as long as society as a whole accepts that, yeah, women are fine in short shorts or swimsuits or whatever else, that's absolutely fine. Do you think that this guy got called out for, for being in yoga pants and letting his pork sword swing around? Or do you think that maybe he sent a dick pic and, you know, people called him out on that and now he's just trying to go the complete opposite way? <laughs> It'd be like, I know what decent is. I know what consent is. Like, you just sent a dick pic to that girl. Yeah, but she was wearing yoga pants. <laughs> it's the same thing. I didn't consent to see her in yoga pants. <laughs> uh, it's driving me up a wall, man. I don't understand your line of logic, bro. Ugh. Your clothing need not involve your private parts for you to look nice. <laughs> your private parts. Don't touch me there. That is my no-no square. <laughs> no, no. Don't touch me there. This is my no-no square. Your no-no square, dog. Yay! Ah! Uh, Jesus, man. <sighs> your reasons can only be perverted because you're in public and attempting to show everyone. I mean, your reasons can only be perverted because you're fucking looking. <laughs> you can't seem to stop looking. <laughs> this fucking sucks. Whatever, whatever this is supposed to be, I fucking hate it and I hate you too. Stop. <laughs> he has twisted this to his own means. And yes, it shows a complete lack of reverence towards everyone, but especially men. Remember when he said that earlier in the post? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to make how women dress all about himself and his fellow men. Well, guess what, dudes? Some of this shit ain't about us, all right? Sometimes women just feel good marching around looking like that. And you know what? I encourage it, honestly. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Why not? I can walk around in a Speedo if I want. You know, 
I, I don't want to show off my big white hairy ass, so I don't do it. But if I had the body for it, shit, better believe I walk around in a speedo. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd have this guy seething even more. It's not right. It's not fair. Why can't I look like that? You can, bitch. Work on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. To scoff at the objection is akin to a man doing the same in the reverse situation. <laughs> you're not special because you're female. <sighs> Once you understand it's not about you, you'll see the truth in this message. God, the irony. Are you, are you soaking that in? Once you understand it's not about you. <laughs> Hello? Think McFly! <laughs> Hello? Hello, anybody home? Huh? Think McFly, think! Uh, what a fucking idiot to sit down and write this and not even think twice about the words he's put down on the page. He's like, yeah, just think it's not about you. That's a good argument. It's like, bro. You just shot your own argument in the foot with your own words. <laughs> you're not special because you're a male. Uh, a man doing the same thing in the reverse situation. Like I said, a man can walk around in a Speedo. Women are welcome to be uncomfortable with it, but they don't sit down and write manifestos about his right to wear a Speedo, right? Let this one go, dude. This is not a hill worth dying on. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, maybe you'll see the truth in my message. <laughs> uh, oh, it's so it's so deep, dude. So so fucking deep. <laughs> women civilize men, and men civilize women. God. <laughs> Are you serious right now? <laughs> uh, I got a lot of evidence to the contrary, honestly. You ever been to the club, son? <laughs> uh, does everybody at the club se seem civilized uh, because the opposite gender is there? Or do they get fucking amped and start losing their minds because the opposite gender is there? <laughs> I'm just saying, you've got your anecdotal evidence and I've got mine, okay? <laughs> You're not us, and we're not you! No oh, shit. <laughs> we need to listen to each other to understand how to come correct and honor the other's sanctity. Oh yes, listen to each other. <laughs> and by that, I actually mean you shut up and sit down and listen to me and don't ask any questions. <laughs> Can you not see why this doesn't hold any water? Can you not see why this is a horrible argument to make? You're not respecting the other person as a person. You're just being like, I don't like when my Barbie doll wears clothes that are that small. <laughs> Even the people you aren't dating. It's just such a weird point of view, man. Y you think you can control how other people dress? Ugh! <laughs> I guess he knows he can't. That's why he did it with an anonymous piece of paper. Because if he said this in real life to somebody's face, they would fucking laugh at him. <laughs> so yes, print out your manifesto at Kinko's, and, and then only the Kinko's guy can laugh at you. And everybody else who sees this reposted on the internet, I guess. <laughs> so, genuinely consider listening to this message if you think we should listen to you instead of being closed-minded. <laughs> uh, yeah, you listen to me first, bitch, and then I'll consider listening to you. <laughs> Uh, God, you are stupid on like a whole nother level. He's like, yeah, you're the closed-minded one if you don't listen to this message. 
It's like, hey, how about, you know, women can wear whatever they want. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not listening to any of that. <laughs> Don't you think that's a little closed-minded? Okay, fine. Listen to me first, then I'll listen to you. What? <laughs> how about uh, an exchange of ideas? Would that not be uh, preferable? <laughs> Uh, god damn, dude. <laughs> this is so funny. We got some people in the Twitch chat asking, like, where the hell this letter came from. The truth is, I have no idea. It was posted on a military base. It's been making the rounds on the internet. It found its way into my subreddit. I had to cover it. This is like, uh, gold just fell in my lap. <laughs> it's an entire post all by itself, and I think that is fucking beautiful. <laughs> so yes, let's continue to tear his argument down. Doesn't matter where he is, I do hope that he sees this video, and uh, maybe we can correct his point of view. Although I haven't listened to him, so maybe he's not gonna listen to me. <laughs> Uh, oh, it, it will only bring you into peaceful alignment with your self-stated value of consent. Jesus Christ, man. This is <laughs> such cringe. Oh, cringe like I've never felt before. <laughs> Because he just keeps going. It doesn't stop. It's all from one person's mind. Obviously, he didn't bounce the ball around with anybody or else they'd be like, Hey, <laughs> your argument is shit. It doesn't make any sense. Instead, he just wrote all this out and was like, It came from my lips. So it's it's the, the best thing ever written. Everybody will surely bend their knee. <laughs> all you've done here is make a joke of yourself, son. Pack it in. Go stand in the corner. <laughs> you finished. Uh, oh. What it is. Let's use no uncertain terms. Oh my god. We're going like point by point. What it is. Why you do it. Oh, fuck me, man. <laughs> you could have just ended it, okay? Uh, we have the argument. We we all understand what it is and why you do it, etc, etc. <laughs> but he's just going to keep going. He hopes that if he keeps on talking, the point will make itself. <laughs> uh, that's not how it works, stupid. You have to have the fucking point before you start talking. <laughs> God, I hate it. Uh... Oh, you're standing as naked as possible in front of as many men as possible. Yeah, are you sure that's her main goal? <laughs> I don't think that was the main goal with this outfit. When you decide to wear clothing that hugs your skin like saran wrap, revealing every nook and cranny of your nether regions, oh, leaving nothing to the imagination. <laughs> uh, sounds like he's enjoying it. Sounds like I'd enjoy it, honestly. What? I don't understand the complaint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you made your argument. I still don't really know what your problem is. Okay, you didn't consent to see every nook and cranny of her nether regions, and if that's the case, look away. <laughs> don't inspect the nooks and crannies, okay? <laughs> it really is just that fucking simple. <laughs> Uh, well, let's just call it what it is. We can practically see your genitals. <laughs> you are prioritizing your desire to reveal, expose, or partially expose, or whatever innocent as possible language you choose, a detailed view of your privates to us as more important than our consent. Or, you're doing it without our consent. Yes, we've addressed all of this before. Is this really like, the detailed view of their privates that you fear so bad? 
a little bit of camel toe. You're like, oh, away with you, demon. <laughs> Uh, seductress, temptress from hell, <laughs> be gone, thought. <laughs> be gone, thought. Uh, like you really don't have to look. I don't understand. Like I said, if I'm walking around in some some tight ass pants that show my bulge off, you know, got a little little bit of balls hanging out and whatever, people can see that shit. <laughs> Nobody complains. Nobody asks me if I asked everybody around if they consented or not. It's just kind of accepted that, hey, I guess that guy wanted to wear really tight pants today. The truth is I'm just getting fatter and my old pants don't fit me like I used to, okay? <laughs> There's a deeper story here. I'm not trying to violate anybody with my bulge, all right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure, you know, these women made a similar choice. It's not about everybody around them having as many men as possible see their nooks and crannies. I'm sure they just enjoy wearing those clothes. Those clothes are comfortable. They feel cute in those clothes. So just let it go, bro. Stop making it all about yourself. This self-centrism. Yeah, you did this on purpose because you knew I had to look. <laughs> it's not their problem if you had to look. <laughs> uh, and then he sits down and writes a whole paper about it. <laughs> just detailing the reasons why it's so horrible that he had to look. <laughs> maybe maybe instead of changing the, the entire world and what clothes they want to wear, maybe you could just change your own behavior and stop looking. One of these things is a lot easier, okay? <laughs> uh, oh. You think you can even really notice camel toe unless you're like, Looking at the crotchal region, <laughs> this dude's like a camel toe detector. He can't help but see it. Every chick walking around with a camel toe, he, he pings it immediately. Ping, ping, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I see all. I know all. Now stop exposing your nooks and crannies. I'm going to write another three-page paper. <laughs> Uh, uh, all about consent, yes. If the argument was formed a little differently, it might be able to hold water, but I guess we'll go over that at the end. So, don't be shocked by our use of straightforward language describing the behavior, but by the behavior itself. No one for consent could logically respect your decision. I think you and I have very different ideas of what consent is supposed to mean. So, you know what I did? I looked it up in the Oxford Dictionary, and there it is. So, consent is defined as permission for something to happen or agreement to do something. So, what is the something that is happening to you in this instance, OP? You're being forced to look at these women in yoga pants? No. Your consent is not required uh, for them to wear pants. Agreement to do something, that also doesn't apply. Again, your consent is not required for them to wear yoga pants. I mean, something is definitely happening here. Like your, your wandering eyeballs checking out every camel toe on the base, right? So maybe they should be getting consent from you uh, in order to, to have their figures inspected so thoroughly by a manifesto writing creep, right? <laughs> that makes more sense to me. Instead of them requiring consent from you, you require consent from them. Or, you know, we could just uh, call it even and everybody walks around in the way that they feel most comfortable. Nobody touches anybody else without consent and and we stop trying to fucking police each other for absolutely no reason. Ugh. If we're gonna go down the consent road, why don't we just ask consent for absolutely everything? Hey, Twitch chat, is it okay that I wore a sleeveless shirt today? Is it okay that I'm wearing a basketball jersey? Or, or do my arms make you uncomfortable? Because they're so flabby. 
<laughs> Can you see every nook and cranny? Oh my god. I showed you my my armpit hair. Look at that. You guys didn't consent to that, did you? Jesus. This is this is quite a show we got going on. How could I? I've not <laughs> respected anybody else's values. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, feel free to leave at any point if you would like. <laughs> There's the door! It hasn't fucking moved since you came in! Get out! You don't like it? Get out! Don't look! <laughs> this is my life, this is my show, it's not yours. So leave! Applies to the Twitch chat, applies to the manifesto. It's amazing how that works. You can apply it to basically anything. Ugh. But he goes on. Of course he fucking goes on. <coughs> this indecent exposure or display of your privates to every man around instead of one significant other is perverted and creepy by any definition, especially considering everyone for whom it's unwanted. Yeah, perverted and creepy. They're definitely the ones that are being perverted and creepy right now, right? <laughs> Uh, you can't be serious. Sit down, tell me that you're serious. I know you ain't serious. This is a joke, right? <laughs> Can you really not see who is actually being the creepy one right now? Ugh. We're not your boyfriend, and you're in public. I mean, honestly, you probably do want to be her boyfriend. You're just really mad that you saw some chick walking around in yoga pants and other dudes checking her out. And that's the girl that you wanted to be with. But you didn't have the balls to go and ask her out, so instead you just sit there and thirst over her, and you're upset that other dudes are out there thirsting over her. Is that what this is about? Maybe he wasn't walking around in his underwear. Maybe he wasn't sending dick pics. He probably was sending dick pics, honestly. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's my my newly re-engineered theory. The girl he has a crush on likes to wear yoga pants, and he can't handle it anymore. Seeing other dudes look at her just makes him seethe. <laughs> well, good. Seethe more. Die mad. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Why do you feel the need to show us? It's by any measure of morality and decency, sexual harassment. <laughs> uh, come on, bro. You go to the beach? Do you go to the beach? You out there like sexually harassing yourself at that point, right? You're essentially saying, I'm gonna give you a great idea of what I look like naked, and you don't have any say in the matter. Oh, poor me. <laughs> uh, like, uh, essentially, I don't understand what this guy's problem is. But if, even if I give him the benefit of the doubt, like, I don't understand why you're looking. <laughs> You do have a say in the matter. You've just given up your ability to, to turn your head, to shift your eyes, to not look at that thing that is being presented to you. You always have a choice. <laughs> but no, I want to take away other people's choice so I don't have to make a choice for myself. Your spineless little fucking worm is what this really boils down to. Our reason for not wanting it doesn't really matter. And aren't yours to question, are they? It's sexual in nature, unwanted, and involves you exposing your private parts to some degree. We would call that sexual harassment. I mean, your reasons are definitely everybody else's to question if you're trying to impose your way of thinking on everybody else, right? He's like, yeah, I think this way and you have to change, but I'm not going to tell you why I think this way. Well, then your argument fucking sucks. How about that? <laughs> My reason for wanting to wear these yoga pants don't really matter and aren't yours to question. Fuck off, dude. Flip this whole argument on its head and shove it up your ass. Back from whence it came. <laughs>
<laughs> what an idiot. How can he not see that this is like the worst argument, the worst manifesto ever written? I don't think anybody is going to be swayed by this. Anybody with at least some degree of logical thinking is going to take one look and be like, yeah, that's that's stupid bullshit, isn't it? <laughs> How does this argument work the other way around? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, well, shut it down. We could definitely theorize on the reasons that he won't state. Really, what what is one of the only reasons that I could come up with is is God. Is God, bro. God doesn't want me to look at that stuff, bro. It's like God gave you free will. <laughs> God doesn't say that you have to look at that stuff. You're being tested right now, friend, and you're failing. <laughs> if you can come up with another great reason, then let me know in the comments. But the truth is he doesn't have any sort of great reason, and that's why he can't state even one. Even one! He just wants people to bend to his will without giving any reason. <laughs> uh, you're stupid. You're like next level stupid. If some consider it sexual harassment, it involves your body parts and it's unwanted, then why is there even an argument? <laughs> End of story. Yeah, if I want to wear these clothes, <laughs> why is there an argument? It doesn't make any sense, dude. You can consider anything sexual harassment if you're willing to stretch the definition enough. So where does the buck stop? You know, do my freedoms end where your feelings begin? <laughs> no, not in the America that I know and love, okay? I can wear whatever the fuck I want, and if you don't like it, Go somewhere else. I can say whatever I like, and if you don't like it, go somewhere else. It's a pretty simple concept to understand, so I don't understand why you are not understanding it. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, but he just wants to say, yeah, end of story. End of story! I don't have to explain my reasons, don't argue with me. <laughs> That's why it's on a piece of paper, because he knows that it won't hold up to any sort of scrutiny. Even e even on the piece of paper, it doesn't hold up. It's a poorly written argument. In addition to being sexual harassment, it introduces an awkward and weird dynamic to any encounter trying to talk to someone in their underwear. <laughs> <laughs> you really feel that weird about it? You just walk up and you're like, Hey, can I hug? Blah, 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 blah. You just can't form a coherent thought. That is how deeply the devil has got you under his control, isn't it? <laughs> Rise up against Satan. <laughs> Say no. <laughs> Uh, and really, when he heard say no, he's like, say no to everybody else wearing what they want instead of like, say no to your own baser instincts, right? <laughs> he's so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, he's like, look, it says right here in the Bible, all right? If one is being lustful, you must pluck your eye out. Now give me your eye. And she's like, no, it means pluck y your own eye out. And he's like, huh? That's not what I understood. <laughs> you don't understand much, do you, Junior? <laughs> Go ahead, pull your eye out if you're if you're so lustful. You just can't help yourself talking to a woman in her underwear. <laughs> you can't even treat her like a human being because of what she's wearing. <laughs> you need to get some help, dude. This is not the way to be. How have you existed thus far in life? Don't they wear them short shorts in boot camp? I remember seeing the, the female platoon over in boot camp and I was like, whoa, <laughs> I enjoyed it. The only glimpse that you're going to get for the next, whatever, three months, six months, <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> I'm not like, hey, tell those female recruits to put some pants on. Instead, I'm like, oh. Great. 
<laughs> it's just a glimpse, but it'll get me through. And then once you get out of boot camp, you go date an ugly chick because at that point, it's like anything goes. You're just like, oh, uh, <laughs> fucking zombie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a story for another day, I guess. But I do understand what it's like, okay? Just because you're in the military doesn't make this argument hold any water. <laughs> no one's trying to control you. Are you sure? <laughs> it seems exactly what you're trying to do, friend. <laughs> do whatever you like in private. But once you're exposing yourself... To people that haven't asked, it violates consent. Okay, let me send you a written shit every morning. Excuse me, pardon me, great arbiter of morality. Would it be okay if I wore my yoga pants to yoga tomorrow? May I wear my volleyball shorts to volleyball tomorrow? Or we're just like changing the whole uniform. Nobody could wear anything anymore. <laughs> Those jeans way too tight. Everybody has to dress like they're goth chicks in the 90s with these great big baggy pants with straps on them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Like, you really think that this is all happening to you because you exist here. You are not the center of the universe. And I think that's really what this boils down to. He can't see anybody existing or doing something that is outside of himself. He's like, you're wearing those short shorts just to tempt me, you harlot. <laughs> <laughs> no, legitimately, I, I, I like them because they're comfortable. Or I was going to some sort of practice. Or, or who even really cares what the reason is? You don't have to look if you don't like it. Like I've said a hundred fucking times already. Ugh. Obviously, it can become a gray area as to what constitutes underwear. But volleyball shorts, sports bras, and yoga pants as well. Especially if they expose every detail of your vagina. <laughs> Definitely count. Considering the purpose of underwear. Bro, I don't think it's physically possible to see every detail of a vagina through volleyball shorts or yoga pants. Have you ever seen a vagina, bro? <laughs> 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 I, I bet that he hasn't. They can be even less modest than some underwear. Yeah, like them crotchless panties, right? You ever seen them crotchless volleyball shorts? <laughs> Uh, that's the game I want to watch. <laughs> but then again, I guess I'm just, you know, disgusting and, and don't care about consent, etc, etc. Like, nah, dude. <laughs> if, there's, if there's a show, I'm going to watch the show. I'm not going to start complaining that there's a show. <laughs> it's fine. Whatever, dude. There are so many hills to die on, OP, and... I don't know why you've chosen this one. <laughs> but uh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Women don't want to give up their freedoms. All these other dudes out here don't want to give up the free show. So <laughs> just stop. Just stop. And then, like I said, the, the only justifiable, semi-justifiable argument would be religion. But he doesn't even have the balls to bring up his own religious views. He's like, my reasons are my reasons, don't ask. <laughs> you know what Jesus says about, about lukewarm Christians? He goes, spit you out. He's like, yeah, you tried to make a manifesto to get women to stop wearing clothes that might tempt men, uh, but you couldn't even bring my name up in it, so you have been spit out. Again, you're doing it. We're just describing it. We. Do you think that there's actually a we behind this letter? Or do you think it's just one seething mad incel? He's not a we. <laughs> I. Go ahead, say I. It's just you. Nobody else is on this other side of the argument, okay? <laughs> Nobody's over there with you. <laughs> <laughs> and if there is, I want to meet him. I, I really do want to pick this dude's brain and be like, so what's the real reason? And he's like, Jesus. And I'm like, yeah, okay. 
Then you should say that. Then you should say that and at least we'd respect you a little bit more, you know? <laughs> just throwing your viewpoints out there and being like, don't ask me about it, just accept it. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh on the other hand, short shorts obviously don't count. <laughs> if you can't control yourself, don't hold yourself to the same standard of self-control that you show men and have something to show off, then go for those at least. But why do you need to show us? Just respect men the way that we do you. Yeah, you show so much respect here. Let me just throw your autonomy out the window and 100% be like, <laughs> okay, you can't wear these shorts anymore because we respect you. We respect you so fucking much that I'm going to keep you in a little box. <laughs> you sit in this cage. That's how much I respect you. <laughs> uh, oh... Are you hearing yourself? Is this for real right now? Unfortunately, it is. I don't think anybody that wasn't for real would put this much time in. Oh, good lord. N nearly 100% of us wear respectful clothing in public. <laughs> it doesn't require sacrificing rights. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anybody who puts rights in sarcastic quotations deserves a swift kick in the dick as far as I'm concerned. These are my rights. You will not trample them. Fuck you. <laughs> Come and take these volleyball shorts from my cold, dead fingers. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know if that's the most tasteful time to make that joke. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Look at us and the mature women who dress classy instead of using their brothers in arms for sexual gratification. You really think? Oh, dude. How could you really think? <laughs> uh, okay. Now, sometimes... Other people, non-consenting people, are used for sexual gratification. If I put my wife on a dog leash and, and go walk her around in public and, and feed her from a little bowl or something like that, then we are using a, a bit of exhibitionism. I think that's what it's called. I learned that in the comments from another video. <laughs> and, and maybe somebody will enjoy that. And those are the voyeurs. But at that point, we're being the exhibitionists, okay? And, and people who aren't voyeurs, maybe they don't enjoy that. Maybe they don't want to see a woman on a leash drinking from a dog bowl. That is non-consent, okay? That is dragging other people into your kink, and that is the type of thing that I will shame 100%. We used to say no kink same, but no kink shame, but that has kind of shifted, you know, based on the level of consent. <laughs> do you have consent from the people that you're involving in this? And if you're doing it in public, no, you don't. And there's a big difference between public BDSM displays and wearing comfy pants. Are there not? So, <laughs> that, what I just described, the whole BDSM thing, that is about sexual gratification. Wearing comfortable shorts? I'm pretty sure it's just about wearing comfortable shorts about wanting to exist and, and be comfortable with the way you are existing. Like, I love my comfy pants. They come out of the washer, guess what? They're the first pants that I put on every time. They've been through the washer a thousand times because they're always the first pants that I pick out to wear because they're so goddamn comfy. They're loose, they're, they're baggy, like sweat shorts. But what if they were yoga pants? What if they were volleyball shorts? I'm not going to have my most comfy pants taken away by some anonymous seething incel. Forget it, dude. You got a problem, and, and that's something that you need to deal with within yourself. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not here to protect you from the world and make everything all better. I'm here to offer a bit of truth, and the truth is you ain't in control of a goddamn fucking thing. So, get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can really offer you. Get used to it. I'm gonna go ahead and set up an auto ban filter in the Twitch chat so everybody that mentions shorts gets just auto banned. There we go. 
Done. Done and done. I don't want to hear it. Don't argue with me. I'm the arbiter. See, this guy isn't even the arbiter. He doesn't even have his own space that he can control. He's just printing out these <laughs> these pathetic letters, leaving them all over base. <laughs> Please, somebody listen to me. Nobody's listening. Everybody's laughing. Pack it in, bro. <laughs> You're so done. You don't even know how done you are. Ugh. Anyways. <laughs> they don't look like nuns and aren't wearing burkas. You share this world with others. And in many instances, life isn't about you. Yes! 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 That's exactly what I've been saying. But okay, just flip that around for half a second and realize, OP, you share this world with others. And in many instances, life isn't about you. Is that sinking in, like, even the least little bit? Of course it's not. He just wrote it. <laughs> he doesn't apply it to himself, he just applies it to everybody else. Oh, you're, you're so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> we all make small sacrifices for each other that make a huge difference. <laughs> like keeping your voice down, or not driving drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those are the two examples that he could come up with. Keeping your voice down, eh, yeah, I guess. Not driving drunk, that's really the big one. You probably should have put that before not keeping your voice down <coughs> or whatever. But yes, give me, give me at least two more instances. I bet you can't. I bet you spent 15 minutes considering that one line of the letter and you're like, eh, two examples is enough. Just put etc. <laughs> uh, come on, bro. Uh, maybe like not cursing around babies. Yeah, that's a good one. Write that one down. <laughs> maybe you'd like to be loud or, or get behind the wheel buzzed, but you don't. This is no different. It really is very different, okay? <laughs> Loud people can disrupt things. Drunk people can kill other people. Wearing comfortable shorts. How does that affect anybody? Uh, how? <laughs> because you can't keep your own eyeballs in your head? That's not anybody else's problem. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> uh, oh... Stop pretending that our consent doesn't matter. So, if you value consent, maybe obtain it before you stand in front of as many men as possible in your underwear without giving them any choice in the matter. <laughs> uh... Yeah, none of these men have any choice. It's only the women that make choices around here, fellas. Sorry to tell you, <laughs> nobody's capable of turning their heads away or, or not looking at a thing that they don't want to look at. I don't understand, bro. Is he just mad at, like, a fat chick that's been wearing short shorts? Or does my first theory hold up? Where it's like his crush that's walking around in short shorts and dudes are looking and he's he's sitting there getting super mad about it. I'm I'm having such a hard time to process his argument. I'd be able to process the argument so much better if he gave me even one good reason aside from you need my consent to wear those clothes, which is patently untrue. <laughs> Nobody needs to fucking get consent for wearing whatever clothes they want to wear. <laughs> Is it the religious angle? I do feel like I'd be able to process this better if I was able to, to attach it to something. To have at least one good reason behind this fucking manifesto. Honestly, we are going over the same points again and again. I'm repeating my own same points again and again. This is feeling like just a 1,000 word essay that this guy is trying super hard to reach the, the limit on. He's like, I have to get there somehow. It's like that in Emperor's New Groove. You know what I mean? 
Oh, right. The poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. I really would like just, just one good reason. Just one. But I know we're not going to get it. <laughs> it's never going to happen. Oh, so uh, with with what it is out of the way, I guess we'll get into why you do it. <laughs> no, why you do it, OP? Why you do? <laughs> Uh, e e for your own sexual gratification and attention, regardless of who doesn't want to be involved. You really believe that? You don't think people wear comfy shorts because, uh, they're comfy. <laughs> it's like, I know, I know that women put these shorts on and they're like, I'm gonna show off my booty today. Maybe some women do, but... <laughs> a lot of other women out there, especially with volleyball and yoga pants, they comfy, bro. Even booty short jeans, they fairly comfy, bro. <laughs> I'm not constricted by all this fabric. Look at this right here. And he's like, no, I don't want to look. You can't make me. <laughs> You're right. I can't make you. That's my entire point. Now, fuck out of here. <laughs> If you want to feel as naked as possible in front of every man you come across instead of one significant other, this is inherently promiscuous. There he goes with that one significant other shit again. <laughs> I swear, there's, this is a religious-based argument. He just doesn't have the balls to say that that's what it is. Come on, bro. If you love Jesus, let the world know you love Jesus. I mean, I love Jesus. But I also love booties and honker donkers, so... <laughs> it's not a horrible thing. There's room in your heart for both. Is there not? <laughs> being human means being more than just an animal who attempts to attract and, and mate with as many others as possible. Mate. See? There it is. That, that Nat Geo language that these nice guys and incels always seem to sink into. Stop watching nature documentaries. Is that the problem? <laughs> uh, where do I start with this? It means having a measure of self-control and respect for others as shown through public decency, vice, public nakedness. <laughs> Public nakedness. We're not talking about nakedness. How do we go from like, yes, they are yoga pants to yes, they are underwear. And now we're just full on like, yes, it's public nakedness. You see, you see this trail of breadcrumbs that he's tried to lead us down. I, I still see it for what it is. They're yoga pants. Uh, pull your head out of your ass and see that they are yoga pants. Full, full length pants. You can't even see ankles in the yoga pants, all right? <laughs> if you could see ankles, though, he'd be like, Oh, forsooth, my goodness, please, someone burn this heretic. Who? <laughs> oh, I, I just can't get enough. So, for what purpose could wearing but exposing crotch hugging yoga pants B besides for your own sexual gratification. And now we are going into a full second page. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Most manifestos are not just one page, and this one is no exception. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, yes. What reason could you possibly have for wearing butt-exposing, crotch-hugging yoga pants besides your own sexual gratification? Um, I don't know. Maybe doing yoga? <laughs> Maybe that the, that the pants are, are comfortable? What the fuck, dude? I let my wife walk around in yoga pants. Dudes, yeah, I see dudes like, you know, fucking twisting their necks and shit like that. And it makes me smile. I'm like, <laughs> good. You see what I got right here? It's fucking beautiful, right? You wouldn't even know what to do with it. Fucking limp dick. 
<laughs> I dare you to say something. And guess what? Nobody ever says anything because I'm standing right there. And it makes me feel manly. I feel my dick grow by like three sizes just by having this, this silent interaction with the world. Why can't you be a bit more like that? <laughs> just just turn it into something that, that's positive. Instead, you're trying to control another person and absolutely seething when you can't. Or more accurately, when you can't control yourself, which is really what it comes down to. He's like, I have no choice. I have to look at these women in, in volleyball shorts. It's like, no, bro, actually, you don't. <laughs> You really, really don't. <laughs> Turn your head, look away, you know. It's it's not that hard, honestly. But okay, let's continue down down the rabbit hole, I guess. We're we're halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. Whew, halfway there. <laughs> You're getting off sexually by trying to draw as many eyes to your genitals and, and private parts as possible. Have you have you ever tried it, OP? Get yourself a nice pair of crotch-hugging jeans and walk around it and see how it feels. See if you like it, because you could get away with it, because we don't require consent from other people in order to wear the clothes that we want to wear. Is that is that sinking through? If you don't like it, you also don't have to wear it. <laughs> but if you can wear sweatpants to the strip club, which I know this guy's done uh, a time or two, he probably goes to the strip club, doesn't even complain about what they wearing in there, right? Because he consented to that, right? <laughs> uh, I know you're a two-faced motherfucker. I can only slightly see it through this manifesto, but... Come on, dude. You're a dog, aren't you? Deep down. <laughs> you tried to make yourself holier than now, and I just ain't falling for it. You can't disentangle a sexual motive from wearing underwear in public. Okay, wait. We talk about yoga pants, we talking about underwear. Okay? Let's be very clear on what we're talking about, because you're trying to blur this line, and it's not a blurry line. One is pants, and one is underwear. You talking about underwear, bro? <laughs> Especially on a mostly male military base. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the real problem that he has. The crush that he has is just getting dicked down from every which way and he's like, "I can't stand it." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, throw your hot dog down the hallway, dude. Do whatever you need to do. You want to get it in, go get it in. But stop being a weirdo about it. Stop making it about something that it's obviously not about, okay? Elevating your own sexual gratification above the fact that it's unwanted for many is a selfish and disordered reprioritizing of values that we were raised to follow. Among them, the golden rule. You know it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my god the golden rule treat others the way you want to be treated all right so you want to be stuffed into a pair of yoga pants i don't understand <laughs> i don't think the golden rule applies here <laughs> <laughs> in addition, when someone happens to look at what's right in front of them, <laughs> that doesn't mean they want it. This dude definitely wants it, though. <laughs> Maybe just get laid a little bit, bro. Maybe it would help you unwind a little bit, bro. It's the same concept as not saying no doesn't mean yes, as was written on the sidewalk. Yeah, that's where I got all of my good advice from. If it's not written on the sidewalk, I don't want to know about it. You should have written this whole manifesto on the sidewalk, and then I'd be more inclined to read it. <laughs> uh, oh my god. What an idiot. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. Uh, walking around, sees all these women in, in yoga pants riding on the sidewalk, and then he coomed in his jorts and had to run home. He's like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach them. <laughs> I'm gonna show them my manifesto. I didn't consent to that. <laughs>
Uh, oh, it's hilarious. It's too hilarious, bro. <laughs> why? Oh, I don't understand why. All right, we gotta keep going. <laughs> Moreover, the behavior of wearing underwear on base is hinged on our presence. The fact that we're there. Look at this self-centrism. If you didn't see a bunch of men on base, you probably wouldn't even wear those volleyball shorts, right? You probably wouldn't even wear those yoga pants. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they would because, like I said, they're fucking comfortable. I, I wear my crotch hugger jeans when I'm hanging out in the house. It's not necessarily because I want people looking at the bulgy wulgy. <laughs> it's because they're comfortable. You probably wouldn't be as eager to wear underwear outside if there was no one around. It's aimed at men. It's it's so not, and the fact that you think it is, I don't know how to fix that for you. You, <laughs> you need to talk to a therapist, bro. Not everything is about you and your existence, all right? Women can do things like wear volleyball shorts or makeup just because they want to. Because it makes them feel comfortable or pretty or whatever fucking reason. They don't even need a reason. You haven't even given a reason. He's just spouting all this bullshit and expecting everybody to lap it up. Ugh! I've had enough! <laughs> Fucking starting to lose it. I'm starting to lose it! <sighs> so what you're saying is you want everybody to go commando on the military base. No underwear allowed. No pants? We just all go in Winnie the Pooh style around here? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Would you prefer that? <laughs> no, because I can see every nook and cranny of your genitals. <laughs> uh, there's just no winning, bro. Okay, everybody become a eunuch because this fucking guy said so. The human race is over because this guy is so fucking terrified of sex for some reason. I don't know who hurt you, but you need to get over it. This is not the way to deal with it, okay? Ugh. You're not fooling us, pretending to ignore every guy in sight, yet attempting to distract us using your genitals and the like. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's just pretending to ignore us. <laughs> uh, it's surely not the fact that you're drooling all over yourself like... Some nonce at a Sunday school <laughs> that she doesn't want to engage with you in any way ever. <laughs> She's just trying to distract. Tell me, what is the purpose of her distracting you? What is the end game here? <laughs> Have you even considered that much? <laughs> He's just like, yeah, they want to distract us. And what's step two? I don't know, but step three's profit. <laughs> Phase one, collect underpants. Phase two, phase three, profit. Uh, uh, just stop, dude. There are more dignified, sociable ways to get a man's attention that aren't so low, which signal maturity and mutual interest instead of the perverted, obnoxious attempt to get everyone's attention while pretending to ignore them. <laughs> uh, I don't think she's pretending to ignore you, dude. I think she is actually legitimately ignoring you, as everybody should, as I wish I could. Had you not written this fucking manifesto that got posted on my personal subreddit r slash red x read and I saw it and, and I said, hey, what a glorious piece of cringe. This will take an entire video within itself. And it's not even an entire video. It's like two full videos slammed together, <laughs> shoved into my editor's inbox, and he probably hates me for it. I'm sorry, Elijah. <laughs> it's just how it be sometimes. Sometimes we get a short one. Sometimes we get a really, really long one. And my incredulousness towards this dude is not making it any shorter. Yes, 
pretending to ignore you, but you still haven't told me what the the end game here is in the pretending to ignore you, right? Do you have any idea? Do you have even even a hypothesis, a slight clue of what she might actually be after it with this sophisticated plan of putting on some hot pants and then walking around and ignoring you? <laughs> <laughs> What's the plan? Maybe he's just salty that he's being ignored. I'm still sticking with my hypothesis that it's about some chick that he likes that walks around wearing hot pants and people drool over her. And then she goes and hangs out with chads. <laughs> How could she hang out with chads instead of me? I'm gonna write a manifesto. <laughs> That'll show him. <laughs> uh, oh my god. And then he pulls out the reverse psychology. Check this out. But hey, maybe it just takes a level of sophistication that you don't have to attract a man in a way that we can respect, that doesn't violate consent, isn't perverted, or attempts to involve multiple men. <laughs> I mean, even if it does involve multiple men, like, I don't understand w what the problem is, bro. Like I said, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's just say, okay, you're right. She is trying to attract multiple men by showing off her genitals in her volleyball shorts. So what? <laughs> if your dick had the same power, do you think that you would not walk around with some crotch hugger jeans? Because every so often, I do. And in the Philippines, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun to do sometimes, and and that's perfectly okay too. You just want to see if you still got it, you know? Could I get my groove back if it came down to it? And, and yes, I could, apparently. <laughs> they're young, you know? They're experimenting with, with their bodies and the world around them, and I think that should be encouraged. No slut shaming here. <laughs> we are friends of sluts around here. <laughs> oh god, wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> just friends, just friends. I want to clarify that. <laughs> uh, oh. In which case, using your private parts is a petty way of going, ha! Gotcha! Just to paint a picture of how that comes across. Yeah, how that comes across to you, you insignificant speck of a man. Do you think anybody really cares what you think? You think anybody's picking up this paper and going, huh, he makes some salient points. <laughs> no, you can't even give your own reasoning. <laughs> you just lay down this this manifesto, this rambly, awkward piece of shit, and you think people are gonna be like, Yeah, you're right! <laughs> if I don't believe exactly what's written on this paper, then I don't support consent. And what kind of person wouldn't support consent? I better believe exactly what's written here. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> uh, nobody's going along with this, dude. Anybody with even the slightest bit of logic is seeing right through this. Ugh. Do you really think most men respect girls who play that game? If you want to be that girl, emanating the need for everyone's attention and the belief that it's all about me, then go ahead. Yeah, it can't be all about her when it's obviously all about OP, right? You guys are really just having like a battle of egos at this point. Who is the, the bigger, most important person in their own lives? As far as I'm concerned, you're all children, you know? <laughs> I don't really care what the outcome of this is. I know none of what he says is gonna work and chicks are gonna continue walking around in basketball shorts. And walking around in, in shorts or, or yoga pants doesn't convey a goddamn thing about what sort of person you are. You know, he wants to paint it as like, ooh, that girl, she's not mature. You're, you're a joke, whatever. Men are gonna take advantage of you. It's like, <laughs> no. 
Anything that happens uh, will have been consensual unless the dude is such of a caveman Luddite that he couldn't contain himself like our OP. Like, OP needs to be put on a watch list, I'm pretty sure. Sure, he comes about it, he's like, oh, it's, it's all about consent and whatnot. But really, it's because deep down he can't help himself. He is just a swirling maelstrom of sexual confusion and hate. It's just cloaked by um, these words that he's put down in some order on a paper. He's tried to make <laughs> a cogent point. He's just failed miserably at it. And I, I wish it would stop now, honestly. <laughs> Can we just take a break from this now? <laughs> it's almost over, honestly. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, it's all about me. Me, me, me. <laughs> Which OP can't stand, of course, because it's not all about her. It's all about him. Let him fight. Just kill each other. <laughs> Again, just don't involve your privates. <laughs> don't be perverted. And for your own sake, don't be that girl who makes an embarrassing joke of her own virtue signaling about consent by violating it while writing it on the sidewalk. That's really what triggered all of this. He saw some chicken yoga pants bent over <laughs> writing something about consent on the sidewalk, and he's like, Oh, I just in my pants. <laughs> Cue the manifesto. Oh my god, dude. You need to get some help. You need to talk to a therapist. Because like I said, consent, this is not what consent is, okay? Nobody needs your consent to wear the clothing that they want to wear. You are perfectly capable of looking away without <laughs> violating the social contract, okay? I was gonna say consent is solely reserved for, like, actions. I guess it is kind of true. Like, um, if I don't consent to somebody trauma dumping into my DMs or, or the Twitch chat or something like that, which I definitely don't, I think that's that's valid. That is something that needs some consent because that's not something that the social contract will let me walk away from without being considered a rude asshole, which uh, I was yesterday in the Twitch chat. <laughs> I considered not streaming today because I was uh, jonesing for some nicotine yesterday, but today I feel much more level. It's really weird. <laughs> Anyways, my point is uh, these two forms of consent are, are completely different to whatever the hell it is that you just made up about consent, okay? <laughs> And then his, his final point is, why you shouldn't? <laughs> yeah, you've made your point so good. Now just bring it home with the why you shouldn't part. Oh, God. <laughs> One, because we didn't ask you to. Who's we, like all men? I asked her to. <laughs> That's fine. Like I said, I'll enjoy the show. <laughs> there, there's a hole in your theory. If you're just talking about you, then just say you. Because I didn't ask you to. He keeps saying we like it's gonna make his point stronger, but... We know there's only one person behind this fucking manifesto. Come on now. <laughs> Anybody with eyes can see that. Uh, two, because we're in public and we are not your boyfriend. Here's this wee shit again. What are you talking about? H how many of you are there? <laughs> uh, he's like, yeah, these polyamorous relationships are disgusting. And then he refers to the boyfriend as we. <laughs> okay. If you insist. Uh, uh, a relationship, it's a, it's a one thing between your significant other and we are not your boyfriend. <laughs> uh, you know, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot right now. Or maybe just incel is legion. Or maybe he has such a big idea of himself that he thinks he's just royalty. You know, the royal we. <laughs> I represent the whole country, so I say we. <laughs> he really, he really does have those delusions of grandeur, though. Jesus Christ.
Three, would you want someone questioning you if you ask them to be decent around you? No. <laughs> I mean, decency is one thing. I don't think that she's going to church dressed up in her booty shorts, okay? <laughs> I think this is just her hanging out on base, dressing how it's most comfortable for her to dress on her day off, and you're out there questioning her. So yeah, maybe maybe this should be questioned. Your idea of decency and my idea of decency are two very different things. And no, it's not based off of uh, the free show or whatever jokes I was making earlier. It's based off of a woman's right to choose, her own personal autonomy. She knows what she wants to wear. She has her own reasons for wearing it. So shut the fuck up. Try and respect that, would you? Ugh. Uh, four, because it's not even convenient to throw something dignified on that conveys a sense of class and self-respect. Yeah, that's essentially the same point as the point before, and eat shit. <laughs> Five, self-respect knows its worth. It's never flashy. It doesn't have to prove it constantly to everyone in sight. Now, to me, this feels like about the only cogent point that he's made in this entire manifesto. If you have true self-respect, you're right. You don't have to show it off. Y you can dress however you want and still have respect for yourself. But maybe uh, these women enjoy the way that they dress. They want to dress how they want to dress, and it doesn't mean the thing that you think it means. You have a very male-centric point of view where you're like, oh, they're, they're just doing this because of us. Right, fellas? They're they're dressing up and putting makeup on because of us. Right, fellas? Uh, no, fellas. <laughs> That's incorrect, as a matter of fact. You might be shocked, but in these days and times, in the current year, women can actually do things <gasps> for themselves. Oh my god, she might actually be wearing makeup because it makes her feel <gasps> pretty. <gasps> <laughs> she might actually be wearing yoga pants because <gasps> they're comfortable. <laughs> I gotta stop doing the, the deep breath in before I fucking hyperventilate. But yeah, <laughs> none of these points really truly hold water if you look at it a little bit deeper. While I do agree with your view on self-respect, I also uh, respect people's autonomy. And if that is how you choose to display your self-respect, especially when you're younger, you know? experimenting with your body and whatnot, then I'm all for it, you know? The truth is that uh, people who have true self-respect uh, don't give a shit about what other people are doing. People with true self-respect don't go around dunking on other people for no reason. So if that's the case, do you have true self-respect, OP? Huh, let's sit back, let's think about that one for a minute. And if you come to the obvious conclusion, which is that you do not have self-respect, then how can you coach anybody else on self-respect? Huh. <laughs> Let's just chew on that for a minute. Anyways, his last point, it shows a lack of reverence for the opposite sex and our biological nature. Oh, now we're really getting down to it, right? You must worship all men as gods. Bend to our will, even without reason. Just do what I tell you to do because, because I said, because you should have reverence for us. Ugh. Ugh. God. It's incel speak. It is incel speak. Maybe I was wrong to label this as nice guys. This is, yeah, this is incel through and through, isn't it? God damn, it's disrespectful considering the nature of male sexuality. When you expose yourself to us the same way, it disrespects the nature of female sexuality when a man pushes himself on you. No one believes you don't understand the nature of male sexuality at this age. <laughs> Respect is a two-way street. Yeah, you keep saying that, but I don't think you know how a two-way street fucking operates. 
Ah, uh, this is this is probably the weakest argument of the entire thing. He's like, yeah, it's just our nature. It's all just in our nature. Wow, really? Now, while it's true there are some parts of our nature that uh, can hardly be avoided, I don't think that this is one of them. Pushing yourself onto the opposite sex disrespects their sexuality? Uh, it, 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 does, it doesn't hardly make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I can't pick apart this argument honestly. It's too dumb. It's like already in shambles just from reading it. How how is it possible that sexuality disrespects itself when it's used, which is eventually what he's saying here. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> It is the dumbest line in the entire paper. That's why he tried to just tuck it in there. You know, he's like, yeah, it's the last one. Ah, shit something out. <laughs> and then he tries to to bring it home with that respect is a two-way street thing, which obviously he's he's not adhered to at all either. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ask yourself why a female might not want it. Depending on the circumstances or female, it might make you feel teased, uselessly distracted, disgusted, turned off, awkward, uncomfortable. You don't like the weird awkwardness of trying to talk to someone in their underwear. Or just plain don't want to see the shape of someone's private parts behind a thin layer of skin-tight clothing. Oh. See, he, he's so coom-brained, he can't even see her as a person. He's like, I, she's talking to me while she's in a, in a bikini. I just can't. <laughs> and then he cooms in his jorts again and goes home to pen page three and four of his fucking manifesto. It's really not that hard to treat people like people, okay? Just look into their face. Look into their eyes. You don't need to be looking at their their genitals behind that skin-tight clothing, you fucking freak. <laughs> the way that you describe it is just... It, it's borderline serial killer stuff that we're dealing with here. <laughs> I stick with my first impression that this dude needs to be put on a list it's not safe for him to be around other people with the way that he talks about women this entire manifesto makes it perfectly 100 percent clear that he doesn't see them as equals he doesn't see them as people he's just like yeah stop making me horny when i'm walking down the street thing <laughs> <laughs> I see round thing. Put thing away, thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bro. Uh, maybe you turn around. Maybe you stop looking if it bothers you that much. This is just some type of shit, isn't it? <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Any number of those same reasons can and do apply to men and women that you're around every day. But it doesn't really matter why, does it? Apparently not to you, the, the dude that's too good to fucking give reasonings for anything at all. <laughs> He's like, whatever, dude. I got my reasons. I don't need to explain it to anybody. <laughs> okay, then. If you insist. The point is, it's unwanted for many, and it always comes back to consent, which you don't have from everyone in public, and it should be obtained before you expose or involve anyone in anything indecent or sexual in nature. And that ties back into the, the BDSM example that I had much earlier in this post. Yes, that sort of situation would require consent. That is uh, a bit further <laughs> from the line than this is. But walking around in volleyball shorts, yoga pants, sports bras. <laughs> like I said before, have you ever been to the beach? Isn't your arriving at the beach uh, consent enough? <laughs> he, he really feels that he needs consent. Okay, your consent is leaving the house. Okay, OP? Your consent is leaving the fucking house knowing that there might be women that want to dress comfortably out there. 
I know, a horrifying thought, isn't it? <laughs> but that's just how it is in these days and times. Oh, these cursed women doing whatever they want out there. How can we make them stop? <laughs> Uh, take a fucking break, bro. <laughs> just, just, maybe don't leave the house. Maybe instead of putting this guy on a list, we could just put him on a desert island. We could <laughs> never look at him again, and he can never look at another person again, and then everybody's happy. Hey, everything continues on as normal. Just make sure to bring him a, a word processor, or whatever, so he can continue typing page 86 and 87 of his manifesto when he sees coconuts and he's like, I don't like round thing, tree! That make me horny, you stop! <laughs> this tree didn't get consent from me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, so, don't be that girl. See, that girl. It's just like that guy. It's like a negative pejorative that just includes your, your gender. <laughs> I don't think that that's a, a cool thing to do. And if you're not that girl, start encouraging a higher standard of dress without waiting for the political agenda-driven civilian powers to stop trampling traditional American values and military discipline, or the go-along-to-get-along Pentagon leadership to stand up to them. <laughs> Bro, traditional American values, huh? W would you say that freedom is a traditional American value? Something like, you know, freedom of dress? <laughs> Some shit like that. <laughs> You're so hell-bent on making your point that you're chewing your own legs off in order to get there. <laughs> I can't. <sighs> Retired veterans of not ten years ago would be appalled to see a soldier running on the track in a miniskirt. Whew. <laughs> My goodness, how uncouth! <laughs> Let's see, I I'm a veteran from 10 years ago, not retired, given, but running around in a miniskirt? Cool, man. Do what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why is... <laughs> Why is it such a big deal? And others in volleyball shorts at a joint competition? <laughs> Supposed to be focused on the fighting spirit, epitomized by sailors, soldiers, airmen, marines, and coast guard men. As opposed to what amounts to females forcing their strip club-like entertainment slash genital display on us, with someone attempting to flash the lower contour of their butt cheeks in a skirt. <laughs> Uh, and other things, showing their whole butt cheeks in an underwear run around the track, making a joke of the competition and the military. <laughs> uh, let me ask you this, are these, are these standard issue uniforms that, that have somebody's butt hanging out? Okay, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they are if you're doing like a group PT exercise, right? I guess it's just like the way that these women wear it that's super offensive to this dude. <laughs> I, I, I still don't understand why you're looking at the lower contour of their butt cheeks if it disturbs you that much. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous, dude. Anyone in a leadership role could have and should have stepped up and stopped that lowering of standards instead of letting us stoop that low. Let me tell you something, bro. You are not the fucking leadership of the military, okay? <laughs> He's like, I can't believe it. I'm the one that has to hold our military leaders to a standard. Like, no, bro, just because you want it to be the 50s again, everybody walking around in a fucking poodle skirt, <laughs> doesn't mean that you're gonna get your way, okay? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I'd love to see the line of logic here, but the truth is that there is none. 
Talk about detracting from the PT uniform and an attempt to detract from the purpose of the event and call attention to yourself. Huh. Okay, is there probably a woman out there that enjoys going out and playing volleyball with the Marines and, and having them look at her? Sure, probably there is. But at the end of the day, it, it's a group event. Everybody's consented to be here. Everybody has consented to wear the approved PT uniform. And you have decided that that uniform is not good enough for you. You'd like to see some revisions. I don't know what to tell you, bro. Write your fucking congressman, okay? <laughs> a manifesto to be distributed about base is really not the way. <laughs> Again, it's so self-centric. All this is to just call attention to yourself. Are you sure? Are you sure this manifesto isn't an attempt to call attention to yourself? How about that? Again, it's not about you. Yes. <laughs> That's what I've been saying, fuckhead. Additionally, Calling attention to yourself is not what we do in a fighting force as a general principle for obvious reasons. But go ahead and make an exception for yourself. Bro, this dude has made so many exceptions for himself. And then he sees somebody else making an exception for their self. And that is just horrible. He's incredulous at the fact that somebody would do that when it is what he has been doing for this entire post oh god it's just uh, i can't anymore thank god it's almost over <laughs> i really cannot military mottos ethos and creeds of humility stealth and generally the opposite of calling attention to yourself swift silent and deadly I mean, I think that's when they're doing military work or something like that. Of course, you ain't gonna show the lower contours of your butt cheeks to, uh, to the enemy, right? That's reserved for the fighting boys at home, is it not? <laughs> uh, or, I don't advertise the nature of my work, nor seek recognition for my actions, to name just a few. That's not a few. That's, that's two. You have named two. <laughs> and and all that is about you know combat we are not talking about combat we're talking about a group pt activity we're talking about walking around on base wearing yoga pants while i get my fucking laundry finished is that okay with you arbiter of morality <laughs> great judge of justice uh, and all that is good <laughs> go fuck yourself dude it's so ridiculous You've joined what was traditionally a brotherhood of self-sacrifice, foregoing comforts and, and self-gratification for long periods of war or deployment, and generally putting others before yourself. You can honor that tradition and fit in with that culture in part by not elevating your own desire for sexual gratification of others, by not constantly trying to call attention to yourself. Uh, and then, the final line, the piece de resistance before this shit gets cut off. For more, watch Jordan Peterson or Ben Shapiro on Sex in the Workplace or the like. <laughs> Uh, oh no! <laughs> well, that well that clinched it for me. Okay, now we've got it. It's it, it's all making sense now. <laughs> yeah, go look up go look up Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson. They'll make the points that I couldn't possibly hope to make for myself. God damn it, dude. I don't understand why he's so insistent that this is all about making other people look. He's like, yeah, this is all about your gratification. Like, are you sure, bro? I don't think that's true, necessarily. But, okay, if you say so, <laughs> fucking whatever. Oh, he's just insufferable. He's insufferable and completely exhausting. Two hours recording this, probably about that long the video will be, and 
I'm pretty excited to that. Again, apologies to my editor, but sometimes it be what it be. That's right. <laughs> I think that this dude uh, has yet to turn around any of the points that he's made in this manifesto, you know. Uh, respect is a two-way street. Yeah, it is. You are not the center of attention. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> but can you take these things and apply them to yourself? Just a little sprinkling of self-reflection. And I'm sure he'd realize like, whoa, I've been the douchebag this whole time. <laughs> yes, yes, you have, friend. And I hope that you'll get it turned around. Thankfully, he wrote this shit anonymously, as far as I know. There's not a goddamn person out there that's ever going to take credit for this. <laughs> but I do hope that he, he gets himself set right, you know? Turned around at some point, because this is a, a painful way to live. Thinking that all women out there are wearing yoga pants so they can wear them and, and get you attracted, but also ignore you. Like, just stop, bro. Take a fucking break, <laughs> okay? I don't know why you think this way, but it needs to stop. It needs to stop. Go talk to a therapist, you know? I, I say it with complete sincerity. I hope that you will go out and get some help. I don't know what branch he's in. I don't know what base this came from, but I do know that it was from a military guy. And yeah, being in the military is not easy. You know, you can suffer mentally and stuff like this. <laughs> you, your inner monologue is definitely not assisting you with, with what needs to get done. So I hope that you will talk to somebody about it, like sincerely. Whew, anyways, friends, I hope that you enjoyed this mess, <laughs> this video, <laughs> in some way, somehow. If you did, I hope you like, comment, and or subscribe. I do appreciate that so very much. Maybe share it around if you know somebody that wears yoga pants. Yeah, let them know that you didn't consent to that. <laughs> Uh, we also got all kinds of links down in the description, you know, plugs, playlists, podcasts. Oh, hey, there's all sorts of stuff. Spotify, iTunes. We got all them podcast services going. I've also got social medias down there. Twitter, Discord, Facebook, Twitch, where we was streaming this whole thing. Definitely do appreciate you guys for coming through. We've also got my Patreon, our gorgeous, wonderful, beautiful, generous patrons, whom I would like to thank, as I do every episode, Jerry, Jerry Much. Ah, uh, so thank you. Wired Up, P and Jerry, Darth Luscious, Harley Owen, Repent the Squirrel, Robert Waits, Camille Sarah, Chancellor Blue Kraken, Roxette Wolf, Simp Jerry, Conrad Ingy, Captain Clown Jerry, Hong Kong, Aaron Jerry, Esteban, for all Lang Sign, Jerry Crusader, Jerry's Fault, or Gaby Steve, Bean Tom with a bag of marbles from downtown, while Jerry begged for forgiveness. No forgiveness here. Silo Revolver, PCB, the original Jerry, Jerry, Destiny Piper, Jerry's Kitsune, a very tired Jerry, feel that, a Justy Jargonian Jerry, and Frankenberry, ain't that a hiding bitch? <laughs> Aspen XO, uh, Assassin Punk Jerry, Aurora Wildheart, Baby Jerry, Bailey Joy, Bearded Jerry, Bitch Gremlin, Blip Blip Jerry, Catholic Jerry, Commander J Tank, Confederate Jew, Dennis Dayton, Dr. Larks, Emergent Jewel, Aaron Era, East Bars, Frozen Over Studios, Fire Drake, Gypsy, Hey Dream PR, I'm Slim Jerry, yes, I'm the real Jerry, Inquisitor Jerry, Irish Pirate, made port to fight in a stowaway, but had to weigh anchor when I heard the frightful sheik of a beard she. <laughs> Iron Allo, Iranian to Jam, a pimp named Jay Crisp, JM Coon, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Dow, Lama the Trucker, Hong Kong, John Hero, John Jerry, Jingleheimer Schmidt. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. It's my fucking name too. <laughs> Crewy, Cuddly Kragan, Legitimate Girth, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry O, like and subscribe. Milady Nix, Malama Man, Marble says Red X can't pronounce Naruto. Naruto. <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> Melgar the Destroyer, Metal Fector, Needless King 89, Nightmare Jerry, Paragon Soul, Phantom of the Pines, Jerry Kins and Jerry Beth, Queens, Quay, Lutz, and Quagmire, Rose Jerry Miller, Sarita the Lolita, Sazi Octopus, Scarlet's Coven, Serena Moore, Sergeant Gay Cop, Bring on the Law, Silo Imp, A Tiny Void, she's totally in the in the patron list, totally, for reals. <laughs> 70 Goodner, Synaptic Boomstick, Brilliant Tamago, Tapioca Baglue, Tato Ferret, The Italian Greyhound, Dino, The Littlest Who, uh, The One True Fusky, Train Boy, woohoo! <laughs> Trying to find a bubble to get back to the real world! Uh, you probably don't want to blow into that balloon, not. It's a stinky balloon. 
<laughs> B3 Prime, Vanguard Angel, Viking Jerry, Wiki Tack, Will Mag, Zephyr Gargoyle, or Clay. Uh, it's Jerry time. Holds Red X Morpher. Self Reflection. Comrade Mooney, Kira. Not another Jerry, but he is though. Red Wind, <laughs> Nog Viper, Saint Blessing, Third Step, Venom Jerry, Jace Christensen, a normal Jerry. Activate Transformation Belt, Heinshin, Toman Rider, Beard Grease. I don't know what that is, but. <laughs> It's a reference I don't understand. Admiral T Tank, Amber Alder, another stupid hipster, Atomic Jerry Zilla, Bartender Galea, Blueberry and Apple Pie, Broken Spine Horseradish, but Greedy Jerry is such a nice girl. <laughs> Cake Jerry, the original different Jerry, yeah. California Jerry Girl, Chevron Seven Lock, Chikara the Panda, Cory does art, uh, sometimes. <laughs> Corporal Admiral, Princess Furry Warrior Woo Jerry, Cryptiddies, the Fawn Jerry, Defter Tuna, Dopamine Dane Jerry is Dwarfy Dude, Ghost of Alpha, He Cannot, Janitor Jerry, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Geralt of Rivia, Jerry and Tom versus Happy New Year's Web Apocalypse, Jerry Springer. <laughs> the results are in. You are not the neckbeard. Yay, yay, Jerry <laughs> the Sussy Baka. <laughs> Uh, Jimmy's mom has got it going on. Check out that mustache on Jerry Older Rivera. Jerry Roxers. Jerry Role Playing Game. Keaton Tales. Kid Marvelous. Kids Again. Life of a Guardian. Little Ann Woods. Lucia Lovecraft. Mama Machia. CD. Maybe next time. Milk Fed Gimp. Miss Duchess. Not Invisible Angel. Raptor Art. She's my Jerry Pie. Cool Drink a Mountain Dew. What a bit surprise. Skymar Ravenswood. Snary. That's Snom Jerry. If you didn't know. <laughs> Snowman. What is best in life? To crush your neck beards, to put them feet to Jesus, to hear the lamentation of their body pillows. <laughs> it's still my favorite one. Uh, Spoody the Rogue, Spoopy Scary Jerry Ton, Techno Dubs, the original Jerry, to Infinity Jerry and Beyond, Unkale, Underwater Movies, formerly the X Card, throws two liter Mountain Dew, grow my neck beard, grow. <laughs> It's Jerry time, holds Red X Morpher. Hygiene, it's Jerry time, holds Red X Morpher. Humility, <laughs> and thank you to my $1 patrons as well. Of course, we'd also like to thank our YouTube channel members. Buy two, get one hand. The Gypsy Barber, Bearded Snake, Death's Flagship, Samantha, a tiny void. Yeah, she in there. Fire Drake, oh my God, he's double dipping too. And Train Boy, who is also double dipping. My goodness, thank you guys so much for supporting on both platforms. That's absolutely amazing. We will have the unveiling of the uh, top Twitch gifts and, and bits at the end of the week. We, we do that on the Sunday video, so uh, not quite yet. But if you would like to get ahead, pad my pocket a little bit. Uh, I mean, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys as always for watching if you want to support that's huge if you can't that's okay, too Don't sweat it, man. Uh, I just appreciate you coming through hanging out with me I hope you come on back and hang out with me again tomorrow in order to do so you need to keep yourself safe out there Wash your hands, but also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today Maybe like uh, watching some more Red X videos, right? 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 <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved, you are worthy, and you definitely, definitely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one, and until then, friends, uh, bye bye